Hey, it's Anna. I will show you today how to paint a face. This will be a Halloween version. So let's get into it. First, I will search proportions. I will search where's the chin and the hairline. And then with the help of the tweezer, I divide this space into three even portions. Now I know where the nose will be and where will be the line of uh, eyebrows. I do everything with a pencil and I mark it just for myself so I know where each element should be. Now I can find also where the line of lips is and this will be kind of like two thirds in the space between the nose and the chin. The same is for eyes, it's in about two thirds between nose and eyebrows. Now I use whatever color we like, in this case I'm using green gel polish and apply a thin layer in a way that I can still see the pencil. Now I use a very well pigmented green gel paint, so I simply use something that is darker than my background and now I will paint shadows around all of the elements like eyes, under the nose, under lips, under chin and under hair or in this case it will be a hat. It is really important that all of that application is very thin. As you can see those lines are not thin as the width but the layer of the color is super thin. Only in this way it will be really easy later to blend this color. So as you notice I apply it around all of those lines that I did before with a pencil and now also under the chin because to be really important to have those shadows in those strategic points otherwise the face will not have the dimension now i clean my brush very well in the lint free wipes and it's really important that you use here good quality lint free wipes and tap gently all of the color that we applied previously it's really important that you tap only the edge of the color. In this way, you are re removing the line between the background and applied color. If you apply your brush on top of the color, then unfortunately it will get messy. In between, I like to clean my brush so I make sure that the brush is not staining additionally the surface. So whenever you notice that your brush is creating a mess, it might mean that it needs some cleaning in a dry lint-free wipe. Now I cure everything for 30 seconds and then mix black and the same green I used previously. In this way I have now a darker version of this green and I apply it in similar spaces but just much less of it. I still want to see the first green behind um, this um, application because in this way you will get a better ombre effect. If you apply such an intense dark color directly on the uh, pastel green it will be much more difficult to create a beautiful clean blending. We always need that transition color in between. Now again, we clean our brush perfectly on a clean, dry, lint-free wipe and then do the same thing as we did on the first layer. Again, with the tapping, I remove the edge of the dark color and in this way, it blends nicely into the previous green that is underneath. Now I cure everything for 30 seconds. Now I use a super thin and short detail brush and we'll start completing uh, um, all of the elements like lips and eyes. Here I'm using a dark green, so again a mix of black and green to create a bottom lip. And then a pure black on a top lip.
I always like to leave a bottom lip a little bit lighter, so it gives a bit more volume to the bottom lip. Now I will also give a better definition to the nose. It is very important to work with a very little amount of gel and create very fine lines. Now let's work on the eye. I'm using a pure black and of course here it depends on the color we want to create. In this case it's a Halloween version so I'm going to paint those eyes black. I work um, on the left and right side at the same time in, uh, in order to get more symmetry. Again for the outline it will be really important that we make those lines as thin as possible. And in this moment you can still modify the shape of the eye if one was uh, uh, bigger or smaller this is the moment where we can um, make them more even and correct little mistakes in a shape or a size now i will paint uh, eyelid I find it's better to paint it before we do eyelashes and immediately before we cure uh, do eyelashes one time so everything will be easier to move. If you cure eyeliner I find it's more difficult to paint eyelashes. Now we are going to add uh, eyebrows and again you can see I just paint the line and then with a clean brush I simply pull little portions of uh, uh, the gel in order to create a, a hair texture. Now check if everything looks good and symmetric. If it does, let's cure it in LED lamp for 30 seconds. Now my witch will have a hat, but if you want to paint anything else, of course, that's totally up to you. Uh, it could be simply a hair or some flowers or butterflies, totally up to you. I first use a liner brush to define the shape of the hat on the bottom and then simply a normal brush from the gel polish to fill the remaining space. I also use a black under the chin to define a little bit better the shape of the face and also to create the shadow. So it will be important that uh, we blend it again just like we did before uh, around the eyes and mouth and nose. Now under the hat I decided to add additional amount of dark green, the same under cheeks and under lips. It's the darker version of the green because in this way it will simply deepen the uh, shadow. We don't want of course to use this dark green directly on such a light green. It's important to have always that transition color underneath. And now again with a clean brush and gentle taps I blend the dark green into the lighter green underneath. Now, once you are happy with the result, cure it for 30 seconds in LED lamp. My next step is highlight. I mixed white gel polish and clear gel top coat together to get this nice milky look. And I apply it on those strategic points like the nose, cheeks and chin. We have to be really strategic on where we put the highlight and it should never overlap with the shadow because then they cancel each other. I also decided to apply some um, texture, some highlights on top of the hat. Additionally, I will add also a little highlight in both eyes and this makes it more alive. Once finished, cure it 30 seconds and seal with gel top coat, shiny or matte. Once cured, I paint um, wavy lines uh, on top of the hat and while I'm cured I sprinkle it with black 
very fine glitter and cure it for 60 seconds and then clean it with a brush. And here is the final result. I hope you enjoyed this short tutorial and we'll give it a try and I will see you next time in the next video.